We're in the Mission District in San Francisco, and today we're gonna to do some urban microscopy. That's a hard word to pronounce. And what that involves is taking various samples of things we find in the street and putting them in these sample jars. And then we're gonna go back to my studio in the Mission and check them out in the microscope. Yeah, so today I'm looking for weird stuff in the street. Right now there's a lot of leaves down here, but I'm kind of interested in stuff that you only see in urban environments. So let's see what we got here. Okay, we got some dirty underwear in the mission. I don't think that's gonna fit in the microscope and I have rubber gloves on, I still don't wanna touch it. I'm kind of curious about what's in the gutter here. We looked at some stuff last week of various microbes. I'm curious if, like maybe I'll just get some water samples and see if like the storm water has any nasty little critters in it. Fluid like that and that should be good. This looks like some sort of partially eaten food. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely microscope material. So we'll take a few samples like this and we'll squish them in the slide glass and I don't know what it is. It's not puke. It's something else, but this is why I wear the rubber gloves. Leftover scratcher. So I'm kind of curious, what does a leftover, what does a scratcher look like in the microscope? Nice murals in the mission. Check out this unicorn, red eye unicorn. It's a little bit devilish. Okay, we got several samples. I'm gonna take them back to my laboratory and we're gonna check them out in the microscope right now. This is the sample from the gutter water and you can see these little organisms just floating around. I don't know what they are. And if you look really closely, you can see little tiny things even further down swimming around. And check out the lottery ticket. Normally the microscope illuminates from the bottom and cells are normally kind of translucent so you get that effect. Of course, the lottery ticket is more opaque and so I'm illuminating it from the top and you get this really strange effect. It's kind of kaleidoscopic. And this is the gold glitter on top of the lottery ticket. Last and definitely least is this nasty corn that I found. Well, that's not what I was expecting. It looks super synthetic. 